Paint attention. This is about understanding the elements of art and principles of design. The word scale can have many different meanings. A zoologist would talk about scales as the things that cover snakes and fish, while a custodian might talk about the scales that cover the inside of a boiler. And people who climb mountains scale them. In order to know what we weigh, we step on a scale. Yes, my scale says help. No, I don't paint my toenails. There are scales in music. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, so, do. Maps are drawn to a scale, so we know where we are and how far it is to get where we're going. So what does scale mean in the art room? Tell us, Bob. Scale is the relative size of something compared to a norm. Norm? What do you mean by a norm? While humans come in all shapes and sizes, we are all relatively the same size. We've constructed our world to meet the average human's norms. The height of our doorways, the height of the handles, the opening on the trash cans, the size of the steps, all conform to what is considered the average human. That's our norm. To us, a pebble is small. That's our norm. But to an ant, that pebble could be the size of a boulder to us. That's the ant's norm. There are three broad categories for scale. Something that is full scale is the size we would expect. This sculpture would be considered full scale. Small scale is when something is created in miniature. This sculpture would be considered small scale. Large scale is, well, you get the point. And if you didn't, maybe this photo will help.